Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and today we're going to be doing this Gallison puzzle. It is my first time doing this brand and I really like how the front of the box is just the picture itself and this little sticker that shows that it's a thousand pieces and the brand name. This collection is called Meowster Piece of Western Art. So as you can see, there's a bunch of cats, so meow. <laughs> if you're not familiar with it, it is actually a painting that they added cats to instead of the people. So the original artwork is right here and it is called Luncheon of the Boating Party. That's exactly what this puzzle is called as well. As you can see right here, Meowster Piece and the title. This is a beautiful puzzle and I found this honestly more interesting than doing the original artwork. It's cats added to a masterpiece. What else could you ask for? Let's get to puzzling. I tried to sort out as many piles as possible for this puzzle. I sorted edges, gray and white, yellow, cat faces, green, red and orange, black, dark blue, cat fur, and mixed pieces. Once I finished most of the tent, I started to work on the green background. At this point, I started to look for more pieces out of the box.
I think that these grey and white pieces were as hard to place as the dark blue and black, even though the darker colors are usually a bit more difficult. I decided to reorganize the pieces, just to make the process a little neater. This is where I took all of the remaining pieces out of the box, so not a lot left till the puzzle is complete. This puzzle did not feel as long as it actually took. I was worried that because of the color scheme, it would be a lot harder to do, but it was not. Not that it was a short amount of time by any means, it's, it was almost 12 hours, but I think the picture is so fun in itself, even though it doesn't have such bright colors. It was very fun to do for some reason. <laughs> as you saw, this puzzle comes with a poster. Something that I find very interesting about this poster is that it's actually smaller than the box. This is how much the picture on the box is bigger. Honestly, it doesn't feel as necessary. Usually, I would complain about the poster not being there, not about it being there. <laughs> not that it's not appreciated, just the only part of the puzzle you can't really see is this tiny spot right here. But as you can see, there's not much happening in the actual photo there. So you don't really need this because it's easier to just look at the box. And I actually use the box more than I use the poster. I found that very interesting. These pieces are pretty average. Um, there's nothing significant I would talk about for them. They are typical size, typical thickness. The only thing I would mention is they are all in this shape. Similarly to this Sheffield's home puzzles that I did. You can tell that one piece is a little shorter and one piece is a little longer, so you can tell in what direction the pieces go. But yeah, I really like this puzzle collection because I thought it was just so fun to add cats to artwork. <laughs> I, w I don't know if they have it for any other animal, but 
I, as Puzzle Cat over here, <laughs> I find it very fun. Like I said, I definitely enjoyed this puzzle and if I get the chance, I'll probably do another one of these Meowster pieces. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever seen or heard of these Meowster pieces of Western art before? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!